everybody say social media stalking? Social media stalking! Today we're going to read The Little Detective and Her Magical Computer. <gasps> the Little Detective opened her magical computer and went to Facebook. <gasps> Uh-oh, what's this? A passport photo of the little detective's yucky ex-roommate, Claire? She looks like a witch. And she can't pull off bangs. <laughs> Okie dokes. But where is Claire going? Who is she going with? What about her job? The little detective had her case. Off to LinkedIn, where no one has a career gap. Oh, no! Claire's LinkedIn was frozen in time. Fear not. Nothing stops this little detective away to Instagram. What do you guys think Miss Jessie should put on her Instagram? I think that you should put your photos on Instagram. OK. Same thing as her. Thank you. Will do. Now, the little detective found something unusual on Instagram. There's another witch. Right. And this was the biggest witch of all. <gasps> Double trouble. Claire and the little detective's other ex-roommate, Dina, were in matching travel backpacks. Backpacks I got them three years ago for Christmas. And you want to know what they got me? What? The cold shoulder for asking them to pack pack and smoke their bowl on the terrace. What if I asked you to pack and smoke your bowl on the terrace? Wouldn't you be like, sure, Miss Jessie. Thank you, Miss Jessie, for just letting me pack and smoke my bowl. Yeah. Mm. I know you don't do it, but you're not weird. Thank you. A lot of people who don't do it are weird, and I'm not. I just don't do it. <gasps> the little detective whipped out her trusty phone and pressed on her secret weapon. <gasps> Venmo. Venmo is a money sharing app. You know what? It doesn't matter. You don't have money. I like money. Shh. Three emojis cracked the case wide open. A plane, a mountain, and a heart next to the word Peru. She went to Peru. The case was solved. Claire and Dina are going to kill each other in Peru. The end. What, what? So what's the takeaway? Hmm, what can we learn from this? Um, maybe that we don't need ungrateful, selfish stoners in our life. I'm sure of that. Also, if I accidentally take your cashew milk, it doesn't mean I hate you. <laughs> it doesn't mean I don't listen. It doesn't mean we're not friends. It doesn't mean that you should plan a trip with our other roommate and not tell me. It's like crazy that you think, oh, I'm not affected by that. Like, oh, she'll be fine. Or like, oh my god, she's not going to check her Instagram. Like, you, you almost know I'm going to check. Like, you almost post it and you know. And you see it happen, you go, oh, it won't be me. I'm not going to have that happen. It's like, no, you are going to be stabbed in the back by friends. Because you did. Tomorrow in the reading nook, we're reading The Little Beggar and her failing Kickstarter campaign. That one's a sad one. That one's going to be sad. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Kindergarten Teacher Explains, press here, OK? If you want to subscribe to Above Average, press right here. And if you want to see more Soren and Jalis, press here. We're a comedy duo. Mm -hmm.